Hello Primary 4, Ms. Shaima is talking to you and I hope you are all fine. Welcome back again to our lovely science with the second term and the first unit which is talking about living things or living organisms. As we studied before that all living organisms need to feed, breathe and other processes we are going to to study how we can do this with our bodies so, uh, so we are going to study our body's systems as we see in these pictures our body consists of many systems as the respiratory system the urinary system the circulatory system the nervous system and our lesson which is about the digestive system lesson one the digestive system first what's the meaning of a system the body of a living organism consists of group of systems each system consists of a group of organs and each organ consists of tissues each tissue consists of a group of similar cells as we see in the picture on the right side, tissues consists of, a tissue consists of some cells. Cell, a group of cells make a tissue. Group of tissues make a, an organ. Group of organs make a system, and a group of systems make a body. So the smallest building unit of the human body or of the living organism body is the cell. The living organism's body consists of state of systems, which are digestive respiratory urinary circulatory the first system we will study the digestive system and its function digests and absorbs food first what's the meaning of digestion or digest digestion process it is the process of changing the food from a complex form into a simple form digestion process takes place in the digestive system the function of the digestive system, as we said, it digests and absorbs food. The structure of the digestive system, digestive system consists of the digestive canal, the digestive canal supplementaries. Supplementaries are three types of glands, salivary glands, liver and pancreas. We will start with the digestive canal and the first organ in the digestive canal is the mouth it is the first organ of the digestive system it's a cavity contains teeth tongue and salivary glands the digestion of food starts in mouth the mouth contains teeth tongue and the salivary glands are opened in it the first part in the mouth teeth the adult has 32 teeth each jaw has 16 teeth we have two jaw the upper row and the lower row 16 plus 16 equal 32 teeth they are divided into 10 molars each jaw divided into 10 molars and four incisors and two canines the function of incisors and the canines are uh, we use them to get to cut and tear food molars we use molars in grinding food the second part of the mouth, tongue, its function, it moves food inside the mouth cavity, it mixes food with saliva, it helps in swallowing and taste the food. The last part in mouth are salivary glands. There are three pairs of salivary glands. They secrete saliva, saliva liquid in our mouth. Saliva changes starch into sugar. What's the meaning of a starch? Starch is a complex form of food. We can find starch in rice, bread. Okay, starch changes into saliva, uh, into sugar by saliva. We are finished today. We will complete our lesson in the next video. Goodbye.